Hello everyone, Pelix here. Welcome back to Dauntless. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the mace, the hammer, the club, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be focusing on dealing as much blunt damage to the face and limbs of behemoths as possible. This is an introductory guide if you're looking to learn more about the weapon. We have used it in other hunts, and because it was my first Dauntless video, I did explain the hammer a little bit. I just wanted to have a dedicated place you could jump to to learn more about it. At least feel comfortable with it, or have an idea of what you should be doing when you jump into Dauntless. So, if you look at the combos for the hammer, it can be a little intimidating. There's a lot going on there. So let's break it down. Let's start with our fast attacks. You have basically two variations of this. One fast attack combo is standing still and just swinging. This will cause your character to spin into a circle and it does take the longest of all of the combos. So please keep that in mind. The other combo is simply moving forward while doing the same sequence. Three fast attacks in a row will cause you to do that. This is usually the combo that I'm using the most because it allows me to pinpoint where I want my damage to go. So again, I can focus it on the face of the behemoth to try to knock it out for the party. As a hammer user, I typically consider myself to be the tank of the group, if you want to put it in, you know, MMO RPG terms, because I'm usually in front of the boss, the behemoth, and I'm usually trying to keep its attention on me so again, I can continue to hit it in the face and deal as much damage as possible. Speaking of dealing as much damage as possible, we also have to take a look at the right click or the heavy attack for the hammer. It is a shotgun. Now, one of the most difficult parts of using the hammer is understanding which abilities you can interrupt with this, but also getting the timing right for interrupting certain abilities with this. And I'll go ahead and show you a clip of Ember Maid, assuming I can actually do it. Uh, as you progress up in the game, the, these stuns, they're called boops. They get harder and harder and harder. And uh, well, you're gonna take a lot of, it's gonna take a lot of practice. This, this is by far the highest skill cap portion of playing with the hammer. But that same ammunition can be incorporated in other ways into these standard combos that we already learned. So, if we are moving forward doing our combo, before our attack hits, we can do our light attack into a heavy attack. And you'll see it charges up the hammer with energy. But if you look at the top left of the screen, uses up ammunition in the process as well. We get this ammunition back by playing the Gears of War reload game by hitting our special ability, and then we just have to time our reload on that bar. If you mess up the timing, uh, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get different ammunition, which I'm gonna be honest, I still don't quite know what it does. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, your character's gonna be frozen for a couple seconds. And especially on the later difficulties, you do not wanna be frozen for a couple seconds. There is another layer to this as well. If you want to, I actually usually opt out of this part and just take a breather and reload my gun. But as you're attacking with this charged up combo, you can then hit your special at the end of each of these attacks to gain ammunition back, as you just saw there. Uh, which means that, you know, I wouldn't have to step out of combat to go reload. But you'll notice that also takes a little bit longer. Like the animations take a little bit longer to actually finish because there's more going on. Uh, so normally I just, I just check out. Also, at the end of any combo, you can hold down your right click and it will expend the rest of your charges. So this is setting you up to deal some pretty hefty damage if, look at that, if the boss is stunned. But again, I don't really focus on regenerating those charges in combat. I usually just take a second, walk away, and reload. And all the way up to tier four, that's been working completely fine for me. So take that for what it's worth. We also have some cool mobility tricks you can do with this ammunition as well. Uh, if we're running and we do a double heart attack, it allows us to propel ourselves in a direction. You can also just do a single as well. And this is unique to the hammer because it's actually a dodge that is different from the rolling animation that you could still do to avoid some things. And there are some weapons, I believe, that give bonuses if you time that properly. Uh, also, alternatively, we can choose to sprint forward, do a heavy attack, and then slam our weapon down with a fast attack on the head of the boss. And remember, we could charge up that shot as well 
dealing a massive amount of damage as we're re-engaging to a fight. So, we keep beating up the same Nasher in all these videos because he dies pretty quick. I could show you some of the moves and uh, hopefully knock him out as well. But trust me, the game gets a lot more difficult than this Nasher. I know we've been seeing him a lot, but it's again, it's just for showing off how weapons act in this game. Uh, we are using the Hellion's Mace, and this bad boy gives you 200% increased impact damage, I believe it's called. Uh, that may not, infused damage, whatever the process of putting ammunition into your swings is, this allows the Hellion Mace to do a lot more damage than most other maces in the game, if not all other maces in the game. Um, so keep that in mind. We're gonna be hitting pretty hard, but it's because the weapon's really good. Here's our little buddy. So right at the start, I'm gonna engage with an airborne attack. I did mess up the infusion a little bit though, and I was kinda stuck on him. Okay, let's ignore that. Let's ignore that. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Go ahead and dodge this attack. Oh, we also have a rolling animation as well that you want to be utilizing if you're close to an enemy. Uh, so for instance, we can roll right back into combat. The thing you have to worry about in that situation is managing your stamina. And you can also just, there we go. There's the knockout. There's the knockout. You can also continue to keep your combo going right out of this roll as well. So this was obviously the spin attack. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to necessarily jump into combat with the with the propulsion in order to get in and deal some good damage. So let's say I wanna just focus his leg. Uh, we can just use our forward vertical swings to jump in there and deal as much damage as possible. If we hit him in the legs or in the head, you're gonna see some extra blue damage pop up. That's blunt damage in this game. And that is what accumulates to stun these monsters. So we already stunned him one time. That is his hide falling off of his face. That wasn't a stun there. Get out of the way of that. Uh, keep in mind as well that when you do infuse uh, your gun with ammunition, you are going to be um, using a little bit of stamina in order to do that. So stamina management on the hammer isn't super difficult, but it does have some nuances that you kind of have to follow. Notice when I hit the leg, we do high damage, which is yellow, and blue damage that is blunt. If we hit his body, we just do white damage, which means it's not hitting apart, and it's not gonna knock him out. Our goal is to knock this guy out. You can see at his face, he is getting dizzy again, so a couple more hits to the head is gonna do it. And this is where your whole party can pop all of their DPS cooldowns like this, and go in and try to deal as much damage as possible to finish off the guy. You're basically setting up opportunities not only for yourself with the hammer, but opportunities for your party to deal increased damage with the hammer as well, which can be extremely powerful if your allies know how to capitalize and are waiting for these opportunities to kind of show themselves. You know, if they're waiting for the stun to happen, then you're probably gonna be pretty well off. Uh, this guy doesn't have too much more health left. Let's try to... Oh, I want to land a full spin combo because it looks cool. But I keep doing the forward attack just by by accident. Like that's where my heart is. It knows. No, you don't leave. No, you don't leave. But yeah, sometimes I'll find myself in a situation where I'm running up to the boss and I'm ready to do damage and I plunge myself into the air, but I actually don't have enough stamina to land that follow-up attack. So you'll get a feel for that as you play with the hammer, but if you ever like jump up and wonder why your character doesn't react after that, it's usually a stamina issue. Hey big guy, tell me how badass that is. And because he's such an easy level, remember this is only a tier two behemoth, we're gonna be able to knock him out again, no problem. So let's go ahead and reload and we'll try to do a spin. I always mess that up. I do the, the charged attack too early. There we go. And because we did so much damage with our weapon and it is a fire element, he is going to be lit on fire now as he goes into his enraged state. Still right in front of you, bud. He seems a little confused. I don't think he knows where he is. Okay. All right. He saw me. Okay. And there he goes. Goodbye, little Nasher. Thanks for helping me show off the hammer today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we're going to be taking a look at another weapon in Dauntless very soon. Take care, everybody. I'll see you all next time.